Yeah, and yeah. we've got a bit of a space watch of our own tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we got another chance at the Northern Lights. We're still at that peak sun solar cycle, right? It's not going to be like May. I, I always keep on having to put that one little warning sticker on it and go, it's not like May. It's not yeah. like that. But That was pretty exciting. May set the bar yes. pretty high. <laughs> we did. We did. Now, more rural spots, especially northern Michigan, we got a shot. So here's what we've got going on outside your window to see if we stay clear for it. Overall, hey, it's mild. And it's clear. We got that sunshine here hanging around. But going through the rest of this forecast, while we have those clear skies, we'll talk about that northern light set up here in a moment, late this weekend, Will we get some rain? Well, there's a question mark to it for a reason. We also have that warmth continuing all the way into next week. But again, for tonight, got to get away from the city lights. It's tonight toward tomorrow morning. You have to get to some more rural locations or especially northern Michigan. So if you're heading up that way for any reason this week, you got a better shot tonight the further north you go. Now, better as well is that it is going to be rather dim. You got to give yourself some time for your eyes to adjust and just like what we had in May, you're probably actually going to get a better shot if you look through your phone. But another thing that we're looking at, and I know you're probably going, but we don't live in the Gulf of Mexico. Well, first and foremost, a lot of people do. But second is that where Tropical Storm Francine goes after making landfall, likely in Louisiana, is really going to determine how our forecast evolves late this weekend. You'll notice the remnants of Francine will likely be in the Midwest starting off in the weekend. So from Friday night to Saturday morning, somewhere around southern Illinois. But also notice how it just really slows down. The forecast lines get real close. It just kind of broadens out. The reason for that is we have a very strong setup with the jet. And it's likely going to act like a wall and say you shall not pass and keep it a little farther to our south at least to start. Now the hope is that it falls apart at that point, but we're going to show you what effects it might have if it doesn't. Starting off though for tomorrow, you got the 80s widespread, 86 in Dundee, 86 in Tecumseh, moving farther to the north, still holding out of the mile there. Our average high is 77. Obviously we're not there. 85 in Ann Arbor and Ypsilanti, Dearborn, Detroit, 85 there. 84 in St. Clair Shores, that's still a very mild trend for us to work with. Even going into Thursday, we're almost 10 degrees above average at that point. You've got 85 in Brighton, Novi, Farmington Hills, Troy, even Sterling Heights at 86. It's a solid amount of heat for us to work with. All the way over to Port Huron to 83 gives us a solid stretch. Now, while we warm later this week, we still have plenty of that heat to go around. We're not making it to record territory. We are still several degrees below that, but it is rather warm, and especially after a weekend where it felt like fall, you know, getting this heat right on back. Some people like it. Some people don't, but at least it's still very pretty. Now, we talked about Francine and how that may make it not so pretty. And that's where it goes on into not just the end of the weekend, but the start of next week. We're kind of looking at Sunday and Monday as where some of those remnants might start to move in, depending on how fast the remnants of Francine move. But it's tricky. I'm going to be honest with you. It is tricky. So what effects that will have, for instance, maybe on tailgating for the Lions? or going into the start of next week for the school day, that's something we got to watch for. But at least for the moment, it looks like we're going to be dry at the start of the weekend. But look at those 80s, even into next week, the upper 70s there on Tuesday. There's not a lot of cool air for us to work with. And again, we're keeping that rain chance low for right now because it really does, at least to us, and Kylie and I were talking about this earlier too, the two of us were looking at it and going, you know what, it really looks like it wants to just stall. All right. If we can't have fall, we'll take dry weather. Sure. Yeah. In its place. Somewhere in between. Yeah. We'll take that. We'll try and keep it that. Yeah. Thanks, Ahmed. <laughs>